And let's make no mistake, permitting is holding back America. H.R. 7023, the Creating Confidence and Clean Water Permitting Act, seeks to unleash the American economy. It is a package of common sense reforms that will reduce regulatory burdens, establish certainty, and increase transparency in our permitting system. The reality is, is that America has been wrapped in a bureaucratic morass. We've been wrapped in red tape. It's impossible to do things like build roads. It's impossible to deploy things like transmission that are critical to help to renew and update the grid, uh, the electrical grid. This is because of what we've seen as an extreme agenda out of this White House. The only confidence this bill gives me is that Republicans will take any opportunity to eliminate oversight and safeguards for our environment and to silence the voices of those in communities who are tired of unbreathable air and toxic water. I'd like to highlight section four of HR 7023. Section four is the language of my bill, the Reducing Permitting Uncertainty Act. Section 404C of the Clean Water Act allows the EPA to veto a dredge and fill permit. However, the EPA has taken it upon itself to proactively reject the permits and retroactively take away permits. In a country of due process, it seems absurd that a federal agency can dictate whether a project is good or bad before an application is even filed. If we reject ideas before they mature, we crush any chance of ingenuity, growth, and progress in this country. Do innovators no longer deserve the opportunity to make their case and share their creative solutions? Further, the ability to take away permits when projects are well underway is outrageous. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I stand, I stand today in vehement opposition to HR 7023, the Creating Confidence in Clean Water Permitting Act. It's amusing that we're having an energy week conducted by a majority that uses all of its energy to fight against the interests and well-being of the American people. This bill is emblematic of the Republican Party that shamelessly prioritizes the investments of their billionaire donors over the health of our children, our communities, and our environment, not to mention our economy. Every member of this body likes to claim to be here to advance the needs of our constituents, but it seems like every day the Republican Party tries to tear down the very laws that aim to protect their own constituents, as well as mine from corporate polluters pumping toxins into our air and drinking water. It seems like every day they fight to repeal the investments that are creating thousands of good paying union jobs in districts like mine, lowering our energy bills and creating a healthy livable future for our kids. Pittsburgh is the 22nd most polluted city in the nation. And this year was the first year that we didn't get a failing grade from the American Lung Association. So I know far too well from what happens when corporate polluters are absolved of responsibility and accountability for their actions, which several portions of this bill seek to enable. I'm proud to fight against those who seek to endanger our communities, endanger our children through polluted air and tainted water, just so they can give another handout to the billionaires and big oil CEOs who bankroll their campaigns. I'm proud to represent Western Pennsylvania and the city of Pittsburgh, where we've worked hard to remove and replace over 10,000 lead service lines, largely thanks to federal protections and investments these Republicans are trying to repeal. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I strongly urge my colleagues to oppose the passage of this legislation, and I yield back.